Hello. It's early summer here at homegrown veg and the raised beds and buckets are really starting to deliver. Uh, we're going down the raised bed shortly uh, but let me show you what we're going to be harvesting in buckets in this video. These are some winter onions sown in the autumn of last year, grown through autumn, winter, spring and now into summer. There are six in here, as you can see they're ready, tops are falling over so these are ready to be harvested. Um, these two here however, these two here, they'll never fall over, never, they've gone to seed and I've simply nipped the seed head out um, so I'm not too sure how much onion I'll actually get out of these two uh, but the other four look sound. So we're going to take these winter onions this is a potato called Desiree. How do you know when your potatoes are ready to harvest? Well the leaves start to look a bit tatty, they start falling over, they get some yellowing of leaves but in these um, lightweight ex-cut flower water buckets the bucket tends to deform uh, because of the potatoes developing inside the bucket <laughs> and one sure fire way you know you need to harvest these potatoes is this Wow! <laughs> The bucket split from top to bottom. There's only one thing and of course that and that's the potatoes inside the bucket. So we know we're going to get some potatoes from this bucket. Um, but we don't know how many and what sort of quality they might be. Bear in mind um, as I've been watering this bucket as fast as I've been watering it, it must have been coming out and I just haven't noticed that. Uh, this must have been tucked in behind some other buckets. Um, so there's probably been some erratic watering going on in this bucket but hey look at that we're definitely going to find potatoes aren't we right let's um, go down the garden because we're going to harvest some beetroot and we're going to harvest some celery bring them back up the garden then we'll harvest those uh, winter onions and then we'll harvest these potatoes is that a deal yeah of course it is come on let's go down the garden Come on, more We're going down the raised beds.
size of the two beetroot. Fairly sizable beetroot, as big as your hand, just about. Two beetroot. And that is a big, and I mean a big, head of celery. Um, I'm going to tidy this up, and I'm going to tidy these beetroot up. Um, but we'll do the onions first, then we'll do the potatoes, then we'll tidy everything up and pop it back in the butter. Okay, right, let's take these out. This is by far the easiest way of getting onions out of a bucket. Just turn them, break the roots off. Not a bad size onion, is it? And these are the two that bolted. Okay, so what have we got here? I think we've got to be happy with that, haven't we? Right, let's get these out the butter. And let's have a look at these uh, potatoes in that burst bucket. We'll just take the tops off to make life easier. We'll just sling these down the garden because after I finish this video I can do a tidy up. Right. Hey look at that. Oh, 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 oh boy. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get a good delivery does it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, Molly, you come round here, lass. Come on. Good girl, good girl. Molly knows there's potatoes on the go, and she's opened there's a few small ones, which we actually call Molly's because they belong to her. If there's any small ones, Molly gets them. I think that was the guy that actually burst through the side. You can see it's marked where it was uh, pushing through the side. This potato actually is a main crop and so it's, it's far too big uh, for a small water bucket like this but I think what it was, um, it started to chip. We had some on indoors um, on the veg rack and they started to cheat. Oh, look at all these little potatoes. Now, Molly will not be getting all of these. Rest assured that she will not. Um, there's far too many. We don't want to give it a sore tummy. Okay, so I don't think we've missed any. Pull these to the back. Right. Potatoes. Hold on, Mo. Onions. Beetroot. 
And salary. How's that for a delivery? Right, I'll take these out the barrel now. I'll wash them, tidy them up, uh, then pop them back in the barrel. Let you have a last look. Okay. Hey Mo, here's one for you. Hope we find a nice one. Here you go, sweetheart. Is that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Warm a lot, we're back. This is the celery, tidied up. Hey, that's a bunch of celery. It's thicker than my arm, look. It's thicker than my arm. That is a cracking bunch of celery. It really is. I'm so pleased with that. That's Victoria, by the way. Started indoors, then planted out. That's our celery. There's the onions, six winter onions, we're okay with those, they're not, uh, they're not that big, but we've grown these through winter, so what do you expect? Most things won't grow through winter. So there's our six winter onions, our red of celery, these were a variety called Japanese onions. So, the celery was grown in the raised bed, the onions, as you saw, were grown in that 10-inch water bucket. These two beetroot were grown in the raised bed. Hey, we're happy with those, you've got to be. Yep, two lovely beetroot there. And last, from that uh, split water bucket, some potatoes. Come on, come on. This is a return, isn't it? Blimey. Grown in my back garden. Couple of water buckets and a few raised beds. Look at that. I'm really happy with this delivery. Uh, the winter onions have pulled through. The celery is beyond my expectations. The beetroot are big. Uh, and these potatoes, grown from a store-bought potato that was taken off the veg rack, actually burst the bucket. Yeah, we're happy with them as well, aren't we, Mo? <laughs> What's that on your face? <laughs> OK, so from me and Molly at Homegrown Veg, this is Homegrown Veg signing out. Aren't we, Mo? We're signing out. Yeah, we're signing out. And you've had your potato, you've had your molly. Come on then, sweetheart, let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs>